this lesson, I'm just gonna do a short example of how to play blues licks over uh, a typical jump blues bass line, kind of, uh, the kind of bass line that um, a tune played by T-Bone Walker would have this kind of groove, and these are kind of in the vein of the licks that you would hear T-Bone Walker or someone inspired by him play. They're not literally T-Bone Walker licks, but they kind of capture the feel that I hear when I listen to that kind of music. And if you want to download uh, the tab of the example that I just played, you can go to the link below or the link on screen, sign up for my newsletter, download the tab, and you can also uh, download the tab to a bunch of other lessons here on the channel. So, here's what's going on. The bass line is doing this. It's the root, third, fifth, and sixth on the E chord. I'm doing some palm muting. It's basically like doing a steady bass line except that the notes are moving. But a steady bass is opposed to like an alternating thumb kind of thing. So this is what's happening over the E chord four times. Always good to plot out what the bass is doing first. That's the foundation of what's going on. Get to the A chord. The whole thing moves up one string. And then back to the E. Now here's where things get interesting. Uh, a jump blues uh, or a T-Bone Walker style tune often, instead of having five to four to one, has two to five to one. And the bass line reflects that. It's going from here, the root of an F sharp chord, just walking up kind of chromatically at the end there to the B. So F sharp, G sharp, A, A sharp. And then on the B7 chord, it walks back down just walks down the E scale from the fifth, fourth, third, second root. So that bass line is... And it's the kind of thing you would hear a pianist doing with the left hand, doing that eight to the bar thing. And we're just kind of approximating that with this guitar bass line. So that's the whole chord progression. Once you get through with this turnaround, you just play two more times on the E. And that's also very typical of jump blues not to necessarily go back to the five yet again. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it doesn't. So we've got that going on. <clears throat> and then it's putting the licks on top, which are this combination of blues scale or minor pentatonic scale with brighter tones stuck in there, which is also very characteristic of T-Bone Walker and of jump blues. So, there would be the notes you'd have on top, the fifth, the flat seven, the root, the flat third. Instead, we're going to use this combination of bright major sixth, like from the major pentatonic scale, and then the, the flat third on top. <clears throat> so. Here's another major note thrown in, this idea of resolving the flat third to the major third instead of just leaving it hanging as the flat third. Up here, kind of typical to have the flat third sound, but we're goosing it, like bending it with a little bit of a, like a quarter tone bend towards the major third, but not actually getting there. So in time, we've got one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And how that all fits over the bass. Like that. So it's a matter of just lining everything up. You're going to have basically a pinch, and then a note in between the pinch. phrase. So pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch. And so the combinations of what your left hand has to do to get there look like this. We got so just pinky and then the open high string. And then we got an open string on top on the second string. And then we're going to use the middle finger to get the flat five so we can slide into this. 
second string again, and then pinky or third finger here, uh, ring finger, I mean, hammering into the, that's the biggest stretch and the hardest part of that lick. Then over the open second string again. And that's the lick except for that ending, which is another sort of typical blues kind of move. Double stop on the second and third string, and then open second and third string, but hammering onto the major third. Actually, it's probably just the single note, just the third string. Hammering on and then getting the high string. So the way that fits over the bass, grabbing all of this, and then that by itself, and then you're back into open string. So this is a tricky grab. That's not something you usually have to do with your left hand. But after that, it's open strings. So the whole first line. And now we have a bit of a variation on the A. You're going to hit the root on top and then get into the A bass line. And now the lick is, which is another very sort of T-bone walker sound, anything that repeating with that <clears throat> sort of, it's not triplets, but it's syncopated. One and two and three and four and. That's a pretty typical sound. So <clears throat> that over the bass. Again, it's just a series of grips and it, most of the time, You've got an open string going on. That's a pretty, no, sorry, I played the wrong leg, so. That sounds a lot better. So, so one and two. That's a bit of a funny stretch, getting up to that. give up that bass note a little early so you're not holding on to that and that at the same time so and then it's the same ending now we're coming into the turnaround which is this really cool sounding lick so that's the same at the end that's the way we ended the E lick. But this lick is a great sounding lick over the two chord. It starts on the flat third of F sharp, goes below and comes up. There's the fifth. There's the flat seven and the root. And then E blues lick over the five chord resolves back to the one because blues licks of the one chord resolve back to one regardless if you play them over the one or over the five or over the four they always draw you back to the one so what's going on here putting this together we've got a bass note here and then this going over to an open B string open A string Two notes fretted here, first fret on the fifth string, second fret on the high string, open. And now we've got to work out over this descending. So we've got, so going to an open string, lots of open strings there, getting you a chance to get in here with the flat five, grabbing that with the third in the bass and the A here, over to an open string. Super dissonant when you slow it down. Here we're getting F sharp in the bass and hammering on to G sharp here. So but up to tempo, your ear kind of accepts it. So an extra credit if you can put a little bit of articulation onto it. So 
slide from this note into this note. Hammer on after you play the open B. We're gonna hit the hammer on with the bass. You can even pull off here. And that just makes it feel less like a guitar trick and more like an actual musical moment where there's this lick. And I think that's kind of the secret to this kind of playing. And I would not say that I've got it nailed yet, but it's something that I really listen for and try to do is um, to not just see it as this set of like spidery mechanical moves, but to always bear in mind like here's the bass, here's the lick. How would the lick really be phrased if I wasn't trying to do all this at once? How would I play it? And really make it swing and then can I put that So it really sounds like a lick over a bass line and not just like this like tricky thing that we tried to stick together. So I was kind of fooling around with this idea and then I got an email from uh, someone in my, uh, in my membership saying like, hey, I was thinking about this, like, have you ever done like a jump blues thing? Because this was after I had done um, <clears throat> the Chicago blues, the shuffle like, listen, which you can also find uh, here on the channel. And so uh, Bill, this one's for you. I thought this would be fun to do. So. Um, here it is. It's the T-Bone Walker idea. If you've got a question or a thing that you would like me to uh, talk about or teach, um, head on over to fretboardconfidential.com or click one of the links here on the channel and sign up for my newsletter and you can drop me a line and ask me about it. So anyway, uh, go download the tab if you want it and um, <clears throat> drop me a line if you've got uh, something else you want to know about and I'll see you next time.